Hello everyone, welcome to Evangelina's Craft. Today, I'm going to share with you another project, another card uh, making. This is one of the cards that I am uh, preparing for a good friend who has ordered some cards uh, from me. So this is one of them. So I'm going to show you the items or the materials that I'm going to use for this card. This is gonna gonna be a little bit of a Japanese card, but not entirely. Okay, for the base card, I already have prepared the cutouts that I'm gonna use, and this is the uh, uh, the base card and the pattern paper that I'm gonna use for this particular card. Okay, and it's it's another C fold card. You know me, I like I like C fold cards. Anyway, I set this aside and then I have these pieces. Uh, I already prepared it. I die cut them and colored them. And I want to show you that uh, this particular uh, die cuts came from this uh, die. It's from uh, Avery LA. This is a very old one. I uh, purchased this a long time ago. This is the corresponding die for this uh, die cuts. And this one is came from this one from the uh, clear stamps that I used for this um, particular or pieces of uh, die cuts. You get a bowl, a shrimp, an egg, a chopstick, lemon some leaves, some flowers, or even the steam came from this particular um, clear stamp and that has a corresponding dies, okay? That's one, one part, okay? And then, I will also be using this piece which came from this die, this die cut from this die, okay? And uh, this rosette that I made came from uh, this piece of die so this is the design of it and this round thing here came from this uh, die this die cut came from this die okay I will try to link er all the dies that I use for this uh, particular card okay and now for this uh, little Japanese girl See how cute it is. Um, this came from this die cut. This from this dies. Okay, this die cut came from this dies. And this one I purchased in AliExpress a long time ago. I don't think so they have it still, but I can check. But it's a long like like years ago, like three years or four years ago. Okay, so this is this particular uh, die for this die cut. And then I also have this um, these are also some of the things that I'm also going to use for this particular card like this is the stamp pad for this uh, uh, little bits of Japanese food over here and this goes also with the corresponding dies over here this stamp and this die cut goes with this one and I just color them each and also this one umbrella it has is this uh, die cut for this for this one okay this is the die cut for this die I think I don't remember where I purchased this but this has been in my stash for the longest time too so these are the materials I'm gonna use for this particular card and I'm gonna make some I'm gonna use some embellishments too like this one and a little ribbon I purchased uh, through a crafter a lot uh, maybe a few months ago because I am wanting I'm I don't find a um, a die th with the smallest bow so I just ordered from her anyway these are all the things I'm gonna incorporate in a card and um, I'll show you in a little while. I'll assemble everything in a little while and uh, see how it turns. Okay? 
Hello! I wanted to show you the uh, finished card that I made for the Japanese little lady. And uh, as I said, this is one of the cards that I have made for a friend who ordered me some cards. So, this is how it turned out. And of course, it's a seafold card. So when you open it, it's gonna be this way. So there. Now actually, this one, uh, there's, a, there's a different uh, sheet of card that this is where she can put her message right in there or she can put a message or place a photo or whatever she likes and there's two adhesive strips there and you just uh, uh, stick it on there and that's gonna be the place where the message is gonna appear now this one as I said I wanted to place a rosette which this one I made but then it is too bulky take this out here if I place it here and when you cover it it's the card is gonna be too bulky so I decided to just uh, uh, do another one which is this one and uh, I'm, and as I said this one you can use it as a um, as a magnet holder I put a magnet here so that you could use it as a magnet holder and I'll just uh, give this as one of a a free thing in the card so that the recipient will be happy about it so that's what I made girls or guys girls and boys I don't know if boys are watching uh, craft videos so anyway so that's how I made it I'll just clip it there and I'll just put some instructions for her to follow so that she would know what to do there you are I hope uh, and that's how you fold it and close it so I hope you enjoy my card making and until more my other video, I'll be sharing more. You have a great day and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!